Okay, so for this, uh, you're going to need some thread or string. I happen to have this, um, what do they call this, craft thread. I think this is, I use, I've used this in the past in different embroidery projects, and I think that it's meant for that or for needlepoint, that kind of thing. It's kind of more of a thick um, embroidery floss. So I have a bunch of this, so we're going to use some of that. And what we don't use is going to go back out into the car in the res in the donate pile. And then I have uh, small bits and pieces left over of um, this package of two flexible chopping mats. This is from the Dollar Tree. You get two of them for a dollar. They're 11 by 14. I use them for journal covers, um, especially when I'm using my arc punch. So, but I never want to throw any of the bits and pieces away. So I have a bunch of small bits and pieces, and we're going to use them up for this. And then you're going to need a plastic bin. So I actually have to make one more bin for some envelopes and things that are in my new cabinet. This is the larger of the bins, and this is the 11 by 13 storage basket. It's the large one. I think it's just. I think when you go to their website, it's just large. But if you type in, like I said, why weave, you'll find it. So. The first thing we're going to do, what I did was I measured my longest label I had over there to figure out what size to make these. So I got a good idea of size. So I'm going to, and this is actually perfect, it's five inches. They don't need to be very wide. This is five inches by one inch strip, and that's perfect. So we're going to cut a bunch of five by one inch strips. And this chopping mat cuts really well on just my Fisker paper cutter with no problem. And so now, now I can throw this little piece away. <laughs> I'm okay with doing that. I do need to. Uh, no, I don't either. I need to, I can just do this. Now I do have this thing about all of them probably being the same um, because you, you never know when I'm going to want to, you know, move the bins around put something else in them. So I want a nice size label on here. And the reason for doing it out of the plastic instead of paper is that I can peel the P-Touch label off of here and not have to change this little tag. Whereas if it was paper, I really kind of would have to change the whole, the whole thing. And that's not really okay. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. So let's do some more. So I'm gonna need like, I think like 11 of these. A lot of bins and I might use some of these shorter pieces um, even though I just said I was going to try to make them all the same size just because I don't I don't want to throw it away I love this stuff all right so anyway you get the idea cut, cut a bunch of um, strips and then I'm going to take this is one of my unused labels because I didn't have a bin for these. I'm going to peel the backer off. I'm going to center it, center it in the center of the plastic. Yeah, I need a hole punch. I'm, I'm betting I need the crocodile, so let's get that out. You might be able to do this with an office supply hole punch, but I'm guessing you're going to have an easier time of it if you use it something like a crocodile so a, a little about a quarter of an inch in from each end well it helps if I center it that's not centered <laughs> see that's not centered where are you that's can you see that like that's totally wrong all right so this is what I mean so you can just peel the label off and we're gonna do something else with that <laughs> let's get another one holy cow they don't have to be perfect, but I like it closer than that. Holy moly. And so then I'm going to center it, hopefully better than I did last time. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just going to put, can you see that? I put a hole, there we go, on each end. So I'm going to take my basket. It, or put it right side up and I don't know what color string I want to use I think I want to just use white I think I want to keep it clean and neat and I'm going to cut
cut a couple of pieces and I'm going to string it through the hole in the tag and the hole in the basket and then I'm going to go into an adjacent hole and then I'm going to just tie it in a knot. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> I know I'm a goofball today. <laughs> I think I'm tired from all the cleaning I did yesterday. And then just trim it short. Love it. Alright, let's do the other side. It's easier to start with to do it from the front through the tag and the basket than the back, I think. Yeah, and you, of course you could get out a needle and, th and put this string on a needle. I'm just, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and now we have a tag permanently on the basket. The label is going to stick on there until I don't want it to and I can peel it off and I don't have to worry about it falling off. So I'm going to do the rest of my cabinet and when I get it done I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I am all done and I love this and I love the neat clean way that it labeled all the bins so I know what's in them. I don't have to worry about the labels falling off. I love it and my new section now is all set up and ready to go, ready for some creating. I do have to label those two, two binders still, which I think I'm going to use some scraps of the same plastic mat and stick a label on it. So I love it. I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do. And remember, if you don't have the plastic chopping mat and or you're not near a Dollar Tree, you could use clear plastic packaging. There's no reason why you couldn't. So I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do if you're having storage issues in your um, art room and you need to make things a little neater and cleaner and easier to find, here's one idea of how to do it. Everything was from Target and or Dollar Tree um, and it wasn't super expensive. That's it for today everybody. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe clean out your art studio a little bit. <laughs> if it gets like mine does, it might need it. All right, that's it, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.